Great. Here for our next reading is Mackenzie Floor. Mackenzie is a multi-award winning author of the uh, young adult fantasy series, The Rite of Wands, which has caught the attention of Doctor Who and Harry Potter fans worldwide. She has, a, she has crafted a robust tale of secrets, mystery, rivaling the works of Tolkien and Rowling. Mackenzie Floor. All right, you lot, don't panic. The doctor is here with a rubbish accent, but I'm here to help you. Oh, and uh, you lot in the UK who are listening to this, how about a bedtime story? Would you like a bedtime story? I'm gonna read one yes. to you. And this is from the Rite of Wands. Chapter eight, McKinnon Estate, Glendalone, 1238 CE. Myrta approached the oversized bogwood door with a cast iron latch, which led to the cellar. He could feel his heart rapidly beating his chest in anticipation. What would he find down there? Would he even be able to locate the electric book? More importantly, would he even be able to understand any of it? The book had to be salvageable, otherwise Lord Cato wouldn't have had even mentioned it. He was meant to have this book. He just had to find it. He reached into his breeches pocket, then pulled out an old-fashioned key his father had given him the day before. Turning it over, he noticed its rustic features it felt cold and heavy in his hand. All right, show me your secrets. Mirta spoke to the key, grinning. He reached up and placed the key into the keyhole. He tried to turn the lock, but it wouldn't budge. Years of disuse had somehow caused the lock to become unfrozen. Unwilling to give up, he tried again, turning it counterclockwise until he heard the bolt slide away. With anticipation growing, he quickly unfastened the latch and pulled it toward him. He opened the door with a loud creak. A musty mildew aroma filled his nostrils, an intense cool draft appeared from below, sending a chill down his spine. He just stared into absolute darkness, listening for any kind of sound or movement. Cautiously, he reached into his pocket, pulled out his wand. Scamos Leas! Myrta commanded. A dim, turquoise fluorescent light sparkled from the tip of his wand. With a slight ache in his heart, Myrta silently thanked his mom for, th for teaching him simple spells. Mother, I wish you were here and we'd still be together. I promise you, Mother, I will not stop until I find who killed you. And when I do, he or she will be sorry. Lifting the wand in front of him carefully, he could see a large cobblestone texture covering the walls. Hello, Mirta said, with a smile, his eyes brightening, not expecting an answer. He lifted his eyebrows and puckered his lips, wondering what secrets he would find below. Cautiously, he placed his foot on the foot stair and heard it echo. He paused. So much for a surprise entrance, Mirta thought to himself. He took a, st a second step, and then a third. However, when he laced his right foot down again, he heard a loud screech from underneath him. Ah, ah, ah! Myrta screamed, flailing his arms while attempting to lift his foot. His wand was to flying out of his hand as his body twisted and sailed down the remaining stairs until he hit the cherry wood floor with his back, knocking the wind out of his lungs and setting huge dust plumes into the air. <clears throat> Thank you. Sweet.